Hi, I'm Michael Despezio, and I'd like you to take your hand, place it right here on your throat, and hum a few bars. Anything. <laughs> okay, what did you feel? That's right, vibrations, the operational definition for sound. And I have a great activity here for students to explore vibrations and the sound that they make. Okay, for this activity, you're going to need the following. An ordinary paper cup. Also, a sharp pencil in which to punch a hole through the bottom of the cup. You'll also need a length of string. And that should be about, I'd say about three feet, about a meter or so in length. Also, you'll need one of these, a paper clip. And to help grab onto that string as you tug it and make sounds, have a dampened sponge available. Okay, here are the steps. First, take your pencil and punch a hole in the bottom middle of the cup, just like that. Next step, we're going to take our kite string and thread it through that hole. Grab it from the other side. And we'll pull it through. And then we're going to tie our paper clip to this end of the string right here. So we're going to take the paper clip and tie it to the string. Once we have the paper clip tied to the string, we're going to lay the paper clip right here on the top and pull down on the string from the bottom so that the paper clip just sits right there on the top of that cup. Next step, take your dampened sponge, hold on to the string, and you can make some very cool barnyard sounds. Here we go. <laughs> Try that one again. Well, pulled it a little bit too hard, but that's all part of engineering. It doesn't work. Have the students go back and re-engineer the cup. Perhaps my hole was too big. Perhaps my knot that I tied the string onto the paper clip wasn't secure. But this is all part of engineering, something that you can bring into the everyday teaching of science. So have fun with that sound cackling cup and also the engineering that you'll need to apply to make even a better device than I just built.